Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at setting up the Android emulator for Visual Studio 2022. We will look at downloading and installing the necessary components to get us started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So the Visual Studio provides an Android emulator that can be used as a target debugging Android applications. The emulator uses Hyper-V capabilities of your development computer, result resulting in much faster launch and execution time. So, obviously, Visual Studio is also arguably the best comprehensive IDE for .NET and C++ developers on Windows. So, with the Visual Studio 2022, you can create rich native applications using .NET across iOS, Android, and Windows. You can also share code across device platforms with .NET standard. So, enough of all of this. Let's get to the real stuff here. So, as you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio installer opened. So, we're going to for this video, we're going to use the Visual Studio Community 2022. So anything above this will be fine. Yeah, so we click on the modify. So here we have to make sure that we check this box. So the mobile development with .NET. So this actually helps you build a cross-platform application for iOS, Android, or Windows using Xamarin, right? So once, we've, once you've got this box checked, then you have to click on the individual components. So we scroll down. So under the emulators here, so we can check these two boxes. The first box is Google Android emulator. This is the API level 25. And the second bit is Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager. Yeah? So we can set we can select these two boxes yeah then on the under the sdk so libraries and frameworks here yeah, we can select this if you want to develop uh, mobile if you if you want the mobile development with c plus plus so you can select this android sdk setup yeah so enough of all of this so once you got this bit sorted out you can click on download I mean install while downloading so you click on it this bit will be modified not closed because i've already got the, i've already got it installed so there's no need for that yeah so now we go inside a visual studio so we click on the launch so here we're going to continue with our code So here, this is what we're going to do. First, we click on the tools, and then Android. So here, we have to come inside the Android SDK Manager. Yeah? Click, yes. So here, we have to make sure that we've got a, at least one one of these platforms installed. So I've got this Android 7.1 NuGet. Yeah, this is the API level 25. So you can you can select whatever that is applicable to you. So we, we can expand this and see what is actually installed. So this is Google APIs Intel X X86. Yeah. Then what you do next is we come uh, we, we click on the tools here. So here on the tools. You have to make sure that you've got this box checked. Android SDK platform tools, yeah? Also, you have to make sure that you've got this uh, this box checked as well, Android emulator. Also, you have to expand this and make sure that you've got the SDK build tools also installed. So we come inside the extras here. You have to make sure that you have um, the HAXM installed as well, the Intel X86 emulator accelerator installed as well. So once you've got all of this bit sorted out, then you can click on apply changes. So whatever box that you checked, all the changes will be applied. So once you're done with that bit, yeah, then you close 
So we're coming back to the Visual Studio. So we on the, under the tools here, we come back to the Android and then Android Device Manager. So as you can see, I've already got some um, emulators installed here, yeah, but obviously if you're opening it for the first time, this will be actually empty, right? So to get you started, what you have to do is you, you click on the new. So here, obviously you can configure your, your new device. Yeah. And like in terms of what RAM and what, what not you want to use. Yeah. So here, obviously you can select um, the Google Play Store and you can select the base device that you want to use yeah here you can use the android wear um, the tablet android tv and whatnot here yeah? and then um, you can select the, the processor as well so you can use the the s86 yeah the the arm the v7a and then the v8a as well so whatever you want to use you can select it here and after that you can also choose your RAM size here. So as you can see here now, it's about 1.5 or 1.4, something like that RAM. Yeah, so you can select your hardware. This is um, HW RAM size. So your RAM size, you can select it here and then you can configure some details here as well. Um, the emulator details. So once you, you actually, once you actually, I mean, finish with these properties here, then you could actually add some properties if you want to so you can add additional properties for more testing if you want to here right so once you're done with that bit here then you you can click on the create here so once you click on the create so you'll be prompted to accept the licensing details so once you accept it so as you can see you get the download and installs i'm not i'm just going to cancel it because i've got it here so once you got that bit sorted out then you can click on the start so this will actually initialize the emulator. So as you can see here now, we have the emulator started now, right? And it's ready and good to go, yeah? So you can kick, we can quickly open a, a start a new Android project, yeah? Just to test the emulator. So you're just gonna open this Android, Xamarin Android project. So as you can see, we have got the Android project created now. So if you look at it here now on the Visual Studio, we've got the emulator coming up now, yeah? So we've got the emulator here now, yeah? So I'm just going to leave it here and we'll continue on my next video. So I hope you, for, you this helps you get you started with the Android emulator. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.